Here we have two MTH power trucks that have been converted from three rail to two rail. Uh, as you can tell, um, the gears assemblies, are, the gear assemblies are there. Um, the wheels are engaged. They actually roll back and forth along the track too, which I can show you right now. You know, you can see both of them. The next thing is to go ahead individually. You know, and together. The next thing is, is to go ahead and mount them to the power floor so that then we do a video on testing to see they make sure they run. Well, the thing is also I have to go ahead and uh, install wipers, but um, probably not going to do that because my cars are going to be for dead rail, for battery operation only. But, um, so I'll just connect test leads to the motors instead of running it through the wires through the, to the rails. But, um, this way, at least you'll see the testing. You'll be able to see that, yes, this is entirely possible to convert in a very pretty much straightforward manner how to convert MTH power subway uh, power trucks on New York City subway cars, which they didn't really have a conversion kit for. They don't make them. And MTH only does complete swap outs. You have to send them the truck and they send you a new one. Um, so, um, this can be done is I, I showed you in the previous video how we go ahead and we do this with grinding down the removing the axles using an arbor press which is right there $38 arbor press from Harbor Freight and using my tabletop vertical milling machine from Sherline um, not to advertise these guys but this is very efficient tools for me to do this with it makes it a pretty straightforward process once you figure out how you're going to do it once I figure out how I was going to do it and um, it just led to that. So you can see that the work came out well, as long as you pay attention and do it step by step and do it methodically and not rush at all. And you have to make sure that your wheels are engaged because the, uh, the, even though this is OW5 track, the tubular track that these were made for originally with a line L track or MTH style track is actually a little bit wider than o OW5 because the flanges are bigger. So this being a narrower gauge as far as two rail go, even though it's OW, OW5, the, uh, you have to actually push the wheels in, grind the axles in a bit further so that the wheels sit further inboard to allow the wheels to be engaged on the track and even allow about a couple of thousands of play on either side as you go through switches and turns and curves and stuff like that. You know, so this shows it can be done. And as you can see, I'm going to rotate the track right now and you can see how it looks end on. You can see there's a couple of thousands of play engage on either side, on either one of them, but they both sit there and sit in. So, hope this, hope these series of videos on this conversion is informative, and if you have any critiques, questions, or comments or anything, feel free to let me know on Facebook or my YouTube channel. My name is Bob Andrioni. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.